Hello, and this is a Geek Must Have, and this is a post bag of one box. This is the box I got here. It's from China. I think I know what it might be. But let's open it up and find out. Yep. It's what I thought it was. It is a signal generator. And it's the signal generator itself. The display is protected with a little piece of plastic. It's in a nice plastic case. DDS style signal generator. And when we open the instructions, the wonders never cease. It is written in English. It's a DDS function signal generator. It even looks like it's proper English. Operating voltage is 9 volts DC. Frequency range on this is from 1 hertz to uh, 65,000 hertz. Not a very big frequency range for this. It says high speed frequency is up to 8 megahertz, which is better but still not great. It has 1602 LCD menu. Key functions up and down, up output waveform, down output waveform, frequency stop and run, electrocardiogram wave, sawtooth, sawtooth triangle square, notice. Work with more than 9 volts will damage the instrument. So this is a 9 volt instrument. It's like it takes a standard 2.1 millimeter jack. And it has some BNC connectors on the outside. Actually have to see if I had a set of extra test leads someplace from one of my old oscilloscopes. So here I've managed to uh, hook a little 9 volt battery up to this. We'll go through some of the functions that this thing has. It has sine. I currently have it uh, dialed up for 300, uh, 300 hertz. So there's sine. There's high speed. And then you can go from 1 megahertz to 2 to 4 to 8. The uh, DDS port is on the bottom. And the high speed port is this one on top. So there's high speed. There's random noise, which is kind of funky. Frequency stop, a reverse sawtooth, a regular sawtooth, square wave, high speed, noise, EKG, triangle, square, sign. So we'll start out with the ubiquitous sine wave, and I'm going to be using this little uh, DSO-112A digital oscilloscope. I got this for Christmas. And when you dial up settings that you want, you press the center button, and then you can adjust the offset with this right here offset and then amplitude right there. Okay, and as you can see the oscilloscope is showing nothing right now. Press the center button and there we go. We're getting sine wave and it might be a little tough to see but it's flashing here at the bottom that the frequency is 300. Here we go. So we'll stop it and we'll switch to a random noise. There's the random noise and I'm going to adjust the amplitude. Make it higher and lower. There we go. Higher and lower. Also higher, lower, and just the offset on it so that it lines up where it's supposed to. Okay, let's stop that. We'll switch to EKG, which is another interesting pattern. EKG. Line it up in the center. Amplitude a little bit more. And the frequency is jumping from 400 to 505 and back and forth and it might be tough to see there we go. 
So we'll switch that to turn it off. Reverse sawtooth. Oh, little oscilloscope shuts off after a while to save power. Tell it to uh, skip that. And there is the reverse sawtooth. There's the regular sawtooth. Turn the amplitude down just a little bit. Triangle. Square. Turn it off and dial down the frequency a little bit. So there we are, I have it dialed in at 100 hertz. It's tracking that pretty well. This is uh, a oscilloscope that is doing samples at uh, 5 milliseconds. And high speed. I like random noise. We thought that would be a good name for a rock band. Random Noise. So this is the DDS function and signal generator. Here it is currently doing an EKG pattern on the oscilloscope. It meets my requirements of being portable and being able to be used in a mobile kit as well as the oscilloscope. While it may not be a high enough frequency for some of the things I needed to do, it certainly is a great start. And considering what it cost, that's even better.